The Northwest Territory in the United States, also known as the Old Northwest, was formed after the American Revolutionary War (1775–1783) and was known formally as the Territory Northwest of the River Ohio. It encompassed most of the pre-war British colonial territory north of the Ohio River of the Ohio Country, parts of Illinois Country, and parts of Old French Canada New France below the Great Lakes. These had been under French royal claims before 1763. It was an organized incorporated territory of the United States spanning most or large parts of six eventual U.S. states. It existed legally from July 13, 1787, until March 1, 1803, when the southeastern portion of the territory was admitted to the Union as the state of Ohio, and the remainder was reorganized by additional legislative actions. In the 18th century, Great Britain and France disputed for control of this region. The French had claimed it in the 17th century as part of New France. The competition between these empires resulted in the Seven Years' War in Europe. In North America, the war front was known as the French and Indian War. After Britain gained control following its defeat of France in 1763, it attempted to reserve much of this territory for use by Native Americans. Under the Royal Proclamation of 1763, and for a new colony, the British province of Quebec. This aroused resentment among the British colonists of the Thirteen Colonies, who were already seeking to settle west of the Appalachian Mountains. The region was assigned to the United States in the Treaty of Paris of 1783, but sporadic westward emigrant settlements had already resumed late in the war after the Iroquois Confederacy's power was broken and the tribes scattered by the 1779 Sullivan Expedition. Soon after the revolution ended, land-hungry migrants started moving west. A gateway trading post developed as the town of Brownsville, Pennsylvania, which was a key outfitting center west of the mountains. Other wagon roads, such as the Kittening Path surmounting the gaps of the Allegheny in central Pennsylvania, or trails along the Mohawk River in New York, enabled a steady stream of settlers to reach the near west and the lands bordering the Mississippi. This activity stimulated the development of the eastern parts of the eventual National Road by private investors. The Cumberland-Brownsville Toll Road linked the water routes of the Potomac River with the Monongahela River of the Ohio-Mississippi Riverine systems in the days when water travel was the only good alternative to walking and riding. Most of the territory and its successors was settled by emigrants passing through the Cumberland Narrows, or along the Mohawk Valley in New York State. The Congress of the Confederation enacted the Northwest Ordinance in 1787 to provide for the administration of the territories and set rules for admission of jurisdictions as states. On August 7, 1789, the new U.S. Congress affirmed the ordinance with slight modifications under the Constitution. The territory included all the land of the United States west of Pennsylvania and northwest of the Ohio River. It covered all of the modern states of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin, as well as the northeastern part of Minnesota. The area covered more than 260,000 square miles square kilometers. History European exploration of the region began with French-Canadian voyagers in the 17th century, followed by French missionaries and French fur traders. French-Canadian explorer Jean Nicolet was the first recorded European entrant into the region, landing in 1634 at the current site of Green Bay, Wisconsin although Étienne Brule is stated by some sources as having explored Lake Superior and possibly inland Wisconsin in 1622. The French exercised control from widely separate posts in the region, which they claimed as New France, among these was the post at Fort Detroit, founded in 1701. France ceded the territory to the Kingdom of Great Britain as part of the Indian Reserve in the 1763 Treaty of Paris, after being defeated in the French and Indian War and Seven Years' War in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> British control From the 1750s to the peace treaty that ended the War of 1812, the British had a long-standing goal of creating an Indian barrier state, a large, neutral, Indian state that would cover most of the Old Northwest. It would be independent of the United States and under the tutelage of the British, who would use it to block American expansion and to build up their control of the fur trade headquartered in Montreal. A new colony, named Charlatina, was proposed for the southern Great Lakes region. 
However, facing armed opposition by Native Americans, the British issued the Proclamation of 1763, which prohibited white colonial settlement west of the Appalachian Mountains. This action angered American colonists interested in expansion, as well as those who had already settled in the area. In 1774, by the Quebec Act, Britain annexed the region to the province of Quebec in order to provide a civil government and to centralize British administration of the Montreal-based fur trade. The prohibition of settlement west of the Appalachians remained, contributing to the American Revolution. American Revolution In February 1779, George Rogers Clark of the Virginia Militia captured Kaskaskia and Vincennes from British commander Henry Hamilton. Virginia capitalized on Clark's success by laying claim to the whole of the Old Northwest, calling it Illinois County, Virginia, until 1784, when Virginia ceded its land claims to the federal government. The Old Northwest Territory included all the then-owned land of the United States west of Pennsylvania, east of the Mississippi River, and northwest of the Ohio River. It covered all of the modern states of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin, as well as the northeastern part of Minnesota. The area included more than 260,000 square miles square kilometers and was a significant addition to the United States. It was inhabited by about 45,000 Native Americans and 4,000 traders, mostly Canadian and British, although both groups included the Métis, a sizable group descended from Native women married to European or Canadian traders who established a unique culture that ruled the Upper Midwest for more than a century. Britain officially ceded the area north of the Ohio River and west of the Appalachians to the United States at the end of the American Revolutionary War with the Treaty of Paris 1783, but the British continued to maintain a presence in the region as late as 1815, the end of the War of 1812. Several states Virginia, Massachusetts, New York, and Connecticut had competing claims on the territory. Other states, such as Maryland, refused to ratify the Articles of Confederation so long as these states were allowed to keep their western territory, fearing that those states could continue to grow and tip the balance of power in their favor under the proposed system of federal government. As a concession to obtain ratification, these states ceded their claims on the territory to the federal government, New York in 1780, Virginia in 1784, and Massachusetts and Connecticut in 1785. So the majority of the territory became public land owned by the U.S. government. Virginia and Connecticut reserved the land of two areas to use as compensation to military veterans, the Virginia Military District and the Connecticut Western Reserve. In this way, the United States included territory and people outside any of the states. Thomas Jefferson's Land Ordinance of 1784 was the first organization of the territory by the United States. The Land Ordinance of 1785 established a standardized system for surveying the land into saleable lots, although Ohio would be partially surveyed several times using different methods, resulting in a patchwork of land surveys in Ohio. Some older French communities' property claims based on earlier systems of long, narrow lots also were retained. The rest of the Northwest Territory was divided into roughly uniform square townships and sections, which facilitated land sales and development. The ordinance also stipulated that the territory would eventually form at least three but not more than five new states. American settlement officially began at Marietta, Ohio, on April 7, 1788, with the arrival of 48 pioneers. <laughs> Native American Wars The young United States government, deeply in debt following the Revolutionary War and lacking authority to tax under the Articles of Confederation, planned to raise revenue from the methodical sale of land in the Northwest Territory. This plan necessarily called for the removal of both Native American villages and squatters from the eastern U.S. difficulties with Native American tribes and a supporting British military presence presented continuing obstacles for American expansion. As late as 1791, Rufus Putnam wrote to President Washington that, "...we shall be so reduced and discouraged as to give up the settlement." The military campaign of General Mad Anthony Wayne against the Native Americans, who were supported by a British company, eventually culminated with victory at the Battle of Fallen Timbers in 1794 and the Treaty of Greenville of 1795. 
Jay's Treaty, in 1794, temporarily helped to smooth relations with British traders in the region, where British citizens outnumbered American citizens throughout the 1790s. Furthermore, in regards to the Leni Lenape Native Americans living in the region, Congress decided that 10,000 acres on the Muskingum River in the present state of Ohio would be set apart and the property thereof be vested in the Moravian Brethren, or a society of the said Brethren for civilizing the Indians and promoting Christianity." The first governor of the Northwest Territory, Arthur St. Clair, formally established the government on July 15, 1788, at Marietta. His original plan called for the organization of five initial counties, Washington Ohio east of the Scioto River, Hamilton Ohio between the Scioto and the Miami Rivers, Knox Indiana and Eastern Illinois, St. Clair Illinois and Wisconsin, and Wayne Michigan. Under the Northwest Ordinance of 1787, which created the Northwest Territory, General St. Clair was appointed governor of what is now Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and Michigan, along with parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. He named Cincinnati, Ohio, after the Society of the Cincinnati, and it was there that he established his home. When the territory was divided in 1800, he served as governor of the Ohio Territory. As governor, he formulated the Maxwell Code named after its printer, William Maxwell, the first written laws of the territory. He also sought to end Native American claims to Ohio land and clear the way for white settlement. In 1789, he succeeded in getting certain Indians to sign the Treaty of Fort Harmer, but many native leaders had not been invited to participate in the negotiations or had refused to do so. Rather than settling the Indians' claims, the treaty provoked them to further resistance in what is sometimes known as the Northwest Indian War or Little Turtles War. Mutual hostilities led to a campaign by General Josiah Harmer, whose 1,500 militiamen were defeated by the Indians in October 1790. In March 1791, St. Clair succeeded Harmer as commander of the United States Army and was commissioned as a major general. He led a punitive expedition involving two regular army regiments and some militia. In October 1791 as an advance post for his campaign, Fort Jefferson Ohio, was built under the direction of General Arthur St. Clair. Located in present-day Dark County in far western Ohio, the fort was built of wood and intended primarily as a supply depot. Accordingly, it was originally named Fort Deposit. One month later, near modern-day Fort Recovery, his force advanced to the location of Indian settlements near the headwaters of the Wabash River, but on November 4 they were routed in battle by a tribal confederation led by Miami Chief Little Turtle and Shawnee Chief Blue Jacket. More than 600 soldiers and scores of women and children were killed in the battle, which has since borne the name, St. Clair's Defeat, also known as the Battle of the Wabash, the Columbia Massacre, or the Battle of a Thousand Slain. It remains the greatest defeat of a U.S. Army by Native Americans in history, with about 623 American soldiers killed in action and about 50 Native American killed. Although an investigation exonerated him, St. Clair resigned his Army commission in March 1792 at the request of President Washington, but continued to serve as Governor of the Northwest Territory. A Federalist, St. Clair hoped to see two states made of the Ohio Territory to increase Federalist power in Congress. However, he was resented by Ohio Democratic Republicans for what was perceived as his partisanship, high-handedness and arrogance in office. In 1802, his opposition to plans for Ohio statehood led President Thomas Jefferson to remove him from office as territorial governor. He thus played no part in the organizing of the state of Ohio in 1803. The first Ohio Constitution provided for a weak governor and a strong legislature, in part due to a reaction to St. Clair's method of governance. Topic. Statehood for Ohio On July 4, 1800, in preparation for Ohio's statehood, the Indiana Territory was decreed by an act of the U.S. Congress, signed into law by President John Adams on May 7, 1800, effective on July 4. The congressional legislation encompassed all land west of the present Indiana-Ohio border and its northward extension to Lake Superior, reducing the Northwest Territory to present-day Ohio and the eastern half of Michigan's Lower Peninsula. Ohio was admitted as a state on March 1, 1803, at the same time the remaining land was annexed to Indiana Territory, and the Northwest Territory went out of existence. 
Ongoing disputes with the British over the region was a contributing factor to the War of 1812. Britain irrevocably ceded claim to the former Northwest Territory with the Treaty of Ghent in 1814. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. The 1784 Northwest Ordinance called for a public university for the education, settlement and eventual statehood of the frontier of Ohio and beyond. Article 3 stated, religion, morality, and knowledge being necessary to good government and the happiness of mankind, schools and the means of education shall forever be encouraged. Quote, in 1786, Manasseh Cutler became interested in the settlement of western lands by American pioneers to the Northwest Territory. The following year, as agent of the Ohio Company of Associates that he had been involved in creating, he organized a contract with Congress whereby his associates former soldiers of the Revolutionary War might purchase one and a half million acres 6, square kilometers of land at the mouth of the Muskingum River with their certificate of indebtedness. Cutler greatly impacted the Ordinance of 1787 for the Government of the Northwest Territory, which was finally presented to Congress by Massachusetts Delegate Nathan Dane. To smooth passage of the Northwest Ordinance, Cutler bribed key members of Congress by making them partners in his land company. In changing the office of provisional governor from an elected to an appointed position, Cutler was able to offer the position to the President of Congress, Arthur St. Clair. The Land Ordinance of 1785 created an innovation in public education when it reserved resources for local public schools. The ordinance divided the territory into 36 square miles townships, and each township was further divided into 36 one mile two tracts for purposes of sale. The ordinance then stated that, There shall be reserved from sale the lot number 16 of every township for the maintenance of public schools within the said township. In 1801, Jefferson Academy was established in Vincennes. As Vincennes University, it remains the oldest public institution of higher learning from the Northwest Territory. The next year, American Western University was created in Athens, Ohio, upstream of the Hawking River, due to its location directly between Chillicothe an original capital of Ohio and Marietta. It was formally established on February 18, 1804, as Ohio University, when its charter instrument was approved by the Ohio General Assembly. Its establishment came 11 months after Ohio was admitted to the Union. The first three students enrolled in 1808. Ohio University graduated two students with bachelor's degrees in 1815. <laughs> <laughs> Law and government At first, the territory had a modified form of martial law. The governor was also the senior army officer within the territory, and he combined legislative and executive authority. But a Supreme Court was established, and he shared legislative powers with the court. County governments were organized as soon as the population was sufficient, and these assumed local administrative and judicial functions. Washington County was the first of these, at Marietta in 1788. This was an important event, as this court was the first establishment of civil and criminal law in the pioneer country. As soon as the number of free male settlers exceeded 5,000, the territorial legislature was to be created, and this happened in 1798. The full mechanisms of government were put in place, as outlined in the Northwest Ordinance. A bicameral legislature consisted of a House of Representatives and a Council. The first house had 22 representatives, apportioned by population of each county. The house then nominated 10 citizens to be council members. The nominations were sent to the U.S. Congress, which appointed five of them as the council. This assembly became the legislature of the territory, although the governor retained veto power. Article 6 of the Articles of Compact within the Northwest Ordinance prohibited the owning of slaves within the Northwest Territory. However, territorial governments evaded this law by use of indenture laws. The Articles of Compact prohibited legal discrimination on the basis of religion within the territory. The township formula created by Thomas Jefferson was first implemented in the Northwest Territory through the Land Ordinance of 1785. 
The square surveys of the Northwest Territory would become a hallmark of the Midwest, as sections, townships, counties and states were laid out scientifically, and land was sold quickly and efficiently although not without some speculative aberrations. Officials Arthur St. Clair was the territory's governor until November 1802, when President Thomas Jefferson removed him from office and appointed Charles Willing Byrd, who served the position until Ohio became a state and elected its first governor, Edward Tiffin, on March 3, 1803. The Supreme Court consisted of 1 John Cleves Sims, 2 James Mitchell Varnum, who died in 1789, replaced by George Turner, who resigned in 1796, and was replaced by returned Jonathan Meigs, Jr., and 3 Samuel Holden Parsons, who died in 1789, replaced by Rufus Putnam, who resigned 1796, and was replaced by Joseph Gilman. There were three secretaries, Winthrop Sargent, July 9, 1788 to May 31, 1798, William Henry Harrison, June 29, 1798 to December 31, 1799, and Charles Willing Byrd, January 1, 1800 to March 1, 1803. The territory's first common pleas court opened at Marietta on September 2, 1788. Its first judges were General Rufus Putnam, General Benjamin Tupper, and Colonel Archibald Crary. Ebenezer Sprout was the first sheriff, Paul Fearing became the first attorney to practice in the territory, and Colonel William Stacy was foreman of the first grand jury. Griffin Green was appointed Justice of the Peace. Winthrop Sargent, the first secretary of the territory, married Rawuna Tupper, daughter of Gen. Benjamin Tupper, on February 6, 1789 at Marietta in the first Western marriage ceremony held within the Northwest Territory. General Assembly The General Assembly of the Northwest Territory consisted of a Legislative Council five members chosen by Congress and a House of Representatives consisting of 22 members elected by the male freeholders in nine counties. The first session of the Assembly was held in September 1799. Its first important task was to select a non-voting delegate to the U.S. Congress. Locked in a power struggle with Governor St. Clair, the legislature narrowly elected William Henry Harrison as the first delegate over the governor's son, Arthur St. Clair Jr. Subsequent congressional delegates were William Macmillan and Paul Fearing The first session of the first territorial legislature met from September 16 to December 19, 1799 at Cincinnati. The second session of the first territorial legislature met from November 3 to December 9, 1800 at Chillicothe. The first session of the second territorial legislature met from November 23, 1801, to January 23, 1802, at Chillicothe. The second session of the second territorial legislature was scheduled to begin the fourth Monday in November 1802 at Cincinnati. As the Ohio Constitutional Convention was then in session, no attempt was made to convene the body by members or the territorial governor. Territorial counties Thirteen counties were formed by Governor Arthur St. Clair during the territory's existence, Washington County, with its seat at Marietta, was the first county formed in the territory, proclaimed on July 26, 1788, by Territorial Governor St. Clair. Its original boundaries were proclaimed as all of present-day Ohio east of a line extending due south from the mouth of the Cuyahoga River, but this did not take into account Connecticut's still unresolved claim of the Western Reserve. It kept these boundaries until 1796. Hamilton County, with its seat at Cincinnati, was proclaimed on January 2, 1790. The same proclamation officially changed Cincinnati's name from Losantiville into its present form. Its original boundaries claimed all land north of the Ohio River between the Great Miami River and Little Miami River as far north as Standing Stone Fork now Loramie Creek, just north of present-day Pickway. In 1792 Hamilton County was expanded to encompass all lands between the mouths of the Great Miami and Cuyahoga Rivers, as well as all of what is now the Lower Peninsula of Michigan. Its territory was reduced several times after 1796. St. Clair County, with its seat at Kaskaskia was proclaimed on April 27, 1790. 
It originally encompassed most of present-day Illinois south of the Illinois River. It lost most of its southern lands in the formation of Randolph County in 1795, necessitating the transfer of the county seat to Cahokia, but would expand to the north to take in northwest present-day Illinois and most of present-day Wisconsin in 1801 after becoming part of Indiana Territory. Knox County, with its seat at Vincennes, was proclaimed on June 20, 1790, and encompassed the majority of the territory's land area, all land between St. Clair County and Hamilton County, extending north to Canada. Randolph County was formed October 5, 1795 with its seat at Kaskaskia and encompassed the southern half of what was St. Clair County. Wayne County was formed on August 15, 1796, out of portions of Hamilton County and unorganized land, with its seat at Detroit, which had been evacuated by the British five weeks previously. Wayne County originally covered all of Michigan's Lower Peninsula, northwestern Ohio, northern Indiana and a small portion of the present Lake Michigan shoreline, including the site of present-day Chicago. The lands west of the extension of the present Indiana Ohio border became part of Indiana Territory in 1800. The eastern portion of the county's land in Ohio were folded into Trumbull County that same year. The territory north of the Ordinance Line became part of Indiana Territory in 1803 as a reorganized Wayne County, the remainder reverted to unorganized status after Ohio statehood. Adams County was formed on July 10, 1797, with its seat at Manchester, it encompassed most of present-day south-central Ohio. Jefferson County was formed July 29, 1797 with its seat at Steubenville, carved out of Washington County and originally encompassed all of what is now northeastern Ohio. Ross County was organized on August 20, 1798 with its seat at Chillicothe and was carved out of portions of Knox, Hamilton and Washington counties. Knox, Randolph and St. Clair counties were separated from the territory effective July 4, 1800, and, along with the western part of Wayne County, and unorganized lands in what are now Minnesota and Wisconsin, became the Indiana Territory. Trumbull County was proclaimed July 10, 1800 out of the Western Reserve portion of Jefferson and Wayne Counties, with its county seat at Warren, chosen over rivals Cleveland and Youngstown. Claremont County was formed December 6, 1800, out of Hamilton County, with its seat at Williamsburg. In contrast with most other Northwest Territory counties, Claremont County's original boundaries are only slightly larger than its present-day limits. Fairfield County was proclaimed December 9, 1800, formed out of Ross and Washington counties, with its seat at Lancaster. Belmont County was proclaimed September 7, 1801, formed out of Washington and Jefferson counties, with its seat at St. Clairsville. The Northwest Territory ceased to exist upon Ohio statehood on March 1, 1803. The lands in Ohio that were previously part of Wayne County but not included in Trumbull County reverted to an unorganized status until new counties could be formed. The remainder of Wayne County, roughly the eastern half of the Lower Peninsula of Michigan and the eastern tip of the Upper Peninsula, was attached to Indiana Territory. Topic: <laughs> Territorial Contributions. U.S. states that ceded territorial claims in what would become the Northwest Territory State of New York, 1780–1782 Commonwealth of Virginia, 1781–1784 Commonwealth of Massachusetts, 1784–1785 State of Connecticut, 1786 and 1800 U.S. territories that encompassed land that was previously part of the Northwest Territory Territory of Indiana, 1800–1816 Territory of Michigan, 1805–1837 Territory of Illinois, 1809–1818 Territory of Wisconsin, 1836–1848 Territory of Minnesota, 1849–1858 U.S. states that encompass land that was once part of the Northwest Territory State of Ohio, 1803 State of Indiana, 1816 State of Illinois, 1818 State of Michigan, 1837 State of Wisconsin, 1848 State of Minnesota, 1858 See also American pioneers to the Northwest Territory 
Historic regions of the United States History of Ohio Illinois Wabash Company Indian Barrier State Northwest Indian War Northwestern University, created in 1851 to serve the people of the former Northwest Territory Ohio Country Ohio University, the first institution of higher education chartered by an Act of Congress in the United States Northwest Ordinance. Zane's Trace Notes References Further reading Barnhart, Terry A. A Common Feeling, Regional Identity and Historical Consciousness in the Old Northwest, 1820–1860. Michigan Historical Review 39–70, in JSTOR Barr, Daniel P. The Boundaries Between Us, Natives and Newcomers Along the Frontiers of the Old Northwest Territory, 1750–1850 Kent State University Press, 2006 Beatty Medina, Charles, and Melissa Reinhardt, eds. Contested Territories, Native Americans and Non-Natives in the Lower Great Lakes, 1700–1850 Michigan State University Press, 2012 Bewley, R. Carlisle. The Old Northwest, Pioneer Period, 1815–1840 2 vols, Bloomington, Indiana, 1951. Pulitzer Prize for History Bewley, R. Carlisle. Pioneer Health and Medical Practices in the Old Northwest Prior to 1840. Mississippi Valley Historical Review, 1934, 497-520, in JSTOR. Callaway, Colin G. The Victory with No Name, The Native American Defeat of the First American Army, Oxford University Press, 2014. Davis, James E. Quote, quote, new Aspects of Men and New Forms of Society. The Old Northwest, 1790–1820. Journal of the Illinois State Historical Society 1976, 164–172, in JSTOR Elkins, Stanley, and Eric McKittrick. A Meaning for Turner's Frontier, Part 1, Democracy in the Old Northwest, Political Science Quarterly 1954, 321–353, in JSTOR Essary, Logan. Elements of Culture in the Old Northwest, Indiana Magazine of History 1957, 257-264, online Heath, William. William Wells and the Struggle for the Old Northwest University of Oklahoma Press, 2015 He lived 1770-1812 Coons, Frederick I., Home Missions and Education in the Old Northwest, Journal of the Presbyterian Historical Society, 1953, 137-155, in JSTOR Owens, Robert M. Mr. Jefferson's Hammer, William Henry Harrison and the Origins of American Indian Policy University of Oklahoma Press, 2012 Ubelode, Carl. History and the Midwest as a Region, Wisconsin Magazine of History 1994, 35-47, in JSTOR Zimmer, Louise True Stories of Pioneer Times. Marietta, Ohio, Broughton Foods. 1993. More True Stories from Pioneer Valley. Marietta, Ohio, Sugden Bookstore. Topic older Sources Barker, Joseph 1958. Recollections of the First Settlement of Ohio. Marietta, Ohio, Marietta College. Original manuscript written late in Joseph Barker's life, prior to his death in 1843 Gilkey, Elliot Howard, ed., 1901. The Ohio Hundred Year Book, a handbook of the public men and public institutions of Ohio. State of Ohio. Hildreth, S.P. Pioneer History, being an account of the first examinations of the Ohio Valley, and the early settlement of the Northwest Territory. Cincinnati, Ohio, H. W. Derby & Co. Hildreth, S. P. 1852. Biographical and Historical Memoirs of the Early Pioneer Settlers of Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio, H. W. Derby & Co. Hulbert, Archer Butler 1917. The Records of the Original Proceedings of the Ohio Company, Volumes I and II. Marietta, Ohio, Marietta Historical Commission. Lindley, H., Schneider, N. and Quaife, M. 1937. 
History of the Ordinance of 1787 and the Old Northwest Territory a supplemental text for school use. Marietta, Ohio, Northwest Territory Celebration Commission. Morse, J. 1797. Northwest Territory. The American Gazetteer. Boston, Massachusetts, S. Hall, and Thomas and Andrews. Summers, Thomas J. 1903. History of Marietta. Marietta, Ohio, Leader Publishing. Topic. External links Facsimile of 1789 Act The Territory's Executive Journal Maumee Valley Heritage Corridor Prairie Fire, the Illinois Country 1673-1818, Illinois Historical Digitization Projects at Northern Illinois University Libraries